Who likes pop tarts? We like pop tarts. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So welcome to the very last 30 theme challenge and today's challenge is a pop tart party and I cannot think of a better way to complete the series of 30 theme challenges than with a pop tart. I will do 30 pop tarts as fast as I can in and out the toaster and just have myself a very, very good time. What I didn't anticipate today, ladies and gentlemen, was that it was going to be a million and one degrees Celsius in the UK, and also that I was going to be next to a really hot toaster. If you see a little bit of sheen, it is just the glow. It's the glow up. Two disclaimers, everyone. My first disclaimer is that this toaster is broken and I broke it, testing it. Strawberry Sunday pop tart leaked in the toaster and it made a mess and it made it stick and then I tried to fix the toaster and then I broke the toaster. So now I have to manually pop it back up. So as a disclaimer, the toaster may break and it may stop working. And if that is the case, I'm just going to eat them cold. I know it's completely out of order, but we do what we can with what we have. As a second little disclaimer, this toaster is making a very odd little sound. So if you hear a little buzzing, it's from this guy. Rude, I know, but can't shut him up sometimes, to be honest. Hopefully he's gonna keep up his side of the bargain, which is do, do the thing that you do really well. The thing that you're named after, toast things for us, please. Do your job. One job. One more thing before we get into the challenge. So I put on my Instagram that I sent out my very first signed postcard to a gentleman and his son who watch my videos and I'm just so grateful to them because they've just opened up this new world of people wanting my autograph, which is crazy to me. And it's just, it was just so heartwarming, the message from this little boy's dad. So I want to say a massive thank you to them because I've noticed that there are other people that would really want one too. What I wanted to do was give you lot the opportunity to get yourselves one of these shut postcards. They are totally limited edition. I'm only going to be doing a few of them and sending them out to the real OGs. If you want to get your hands on a limited edition, shut postcard all you have to do is the following comment down below a witty funny quick sarcastic joke all about pop tarts keep it clean keep it cool keep it cute and let's get laughing i'm then going to select the top jokes that made me laugh and i'm going to send you out a shut postcard with a little bespoke message so in front of me here i have a selection of pop tarts now we don't really have these readily available on shelves in the uk i order them off amazon i'm going to link them all below so if you want to order them and you're in the uk i will show you exactly which amazon stores i got them from delivery was pretty sweet too let's get on with a 30 pop tart party i hope you guys enjoy it i look forward to reading your jokes and let's get into this challenge in front of me here i have a load of different types of pop tarts loads that really just appeal to me the first one is the brand new pretzel chocolate filled pop tarts these look and smell absolutely incredible um, we also have the chocolate chip cookie dough pop tarts and along with those we've got the frosted cookies and cream pop tarts the frosted cinnamon roll which i'm really excited to try frosted strawberry milkshake and finally the s'mores pop tarts they all really look and smell incredible so i've got four hot here four in a toaster i'm going to stick the timer on in three two one start what is up everyone and welcome back to the next and final edition mm. of 30 theme challenges and today we are doing pop tarts and i'm really really excited about it because i don't think that i've ever done a pop tart challenge in fact i haven't and this is the first time i've had pop tarts in quite a few years so it was it was a uh, an experience to say the least Obviously, as you would have noted, I was very dubious about this challenge because my toaster did break a couple of days before filming this challenge. And it broke whilst I was testing it for this to see 
exactly how it would toast, how hot the pop tarts would be, etc. And one of the strawberry sundae pop tarts got leaked inside of the toaster and broke it. This is a nightmare to me but instead of buying a new toaster and potentially breaking that i figured that i would use this one and if it broke i was just going to try and recover as quickly as possible so spoiler alert everyone there is going to be a little bit of a fail in this video so please keep watching intently and you will see the drama unfold in front of your eyes Just under three minutes 20 in and we're about 10 Pop-Tarts down. I wasn't anticipating going so slow on this challenge. I honestly thought that I was going to be able to do all 13 under five minutes. I know that's insane. And I didn't really put those provisions in for the time taken to toast. I knew that it was going to be somewhat hindering ones but i thought that it'd be quite fun to sort of dip in and out of the toasting eating and so i'm able to eat them sort of warm but again didn't anticipate how hot they were going to be so they did work out to be far more difficult than i thought they're going to be to eat another problem that i didn't foresee Although I try not to overthink it, there's always quite a lot of planning involved in doing a challenge that you've never done before in order to give yourself the best possible opportunity to do a really good job. But I really feel like I've let myself down here. So I've kind messy. of set myself up for a disaster, but I'm hoping that it did provide for really good entertainment for you guys. I'm talking oh. about entertainment. Please commence the drama. Oh, here we go, you guys. I can't watch, I can't watch, I can't watch. I have a stuck pop tart, but what we're gonna do is get through this. And just like that, the recovery is so real. Smash through the last hot ones and then get through the cold. That was all that was going through my head. It was like, recover, recover, recover quickly. As a little bit of an insight, one of the Pop-Tarts got jammed inside of the toaster, which I anticipated because as mentioned, this did happen before and I knew there was a chance that it might happen again and it did and like all my nightmares came true. So I just thought I need to recover as quick as possible and try not to lose too much time. And unfortunately, I think this really did hinder my performance, which is, it is such a shame because I thought that this was a really fun challenge. In hindsight, I probably should have just baked them all in the oven and just done them all as one big tray of pop tarts maybe a chance for me to do this again in the future but now i guess i know as i approach the ninth minute of this challenge i'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video i hope that you guys do really enjoy it and if you do as ever please remember to give it a like if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos and please just comment below and if you have yet to subscribe please consider doing so and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a new video thank you guys again so much for watching i really do appreciate your time enjoy the rest of the video Little bit annoying because technically we lost that one since we have one pop tart stowaway stuck in the toaster she's stuck and you can only ever assume that there is a potential for disaster to happen when i'm around so i'm going to put it down to that being a failed challenge but a very enjoyable fail so i hope you guys enjoyed this 30 pop tart challenge we managed to do that in just under 10 minutes which i am um, i'm okay about I don't feel like i got into a rhythm with eating right at the start but definitely picked up towards the end and i started to do them two at a time because 
because I'm me and that's what I do. I just sandwich everything. And remember, drop your jokes down below, keep it clean, keep it cute, keep it classy. And the top ones that make me laugh, I will get in touch with you and we can arrange for a shuts card to come to your door. That is absolutely everything I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as ever, please remember to give it a like if you have any comments or suggestions and please just leave them below. And if you have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. That is absolutely everything for me, everyone. Have a lovely day. I appreciate you and your time and I'll catch all of you on the next one. Also, if you're on Instagram, follow me at Shutkeever Official for some more real-time posts and foodie updates. Suggestions for future videos and please just comment below. <laughs> Inhale. Shutkeever out. This is going to be delightful. I really feel like there's going to be a disaster on this one.